Nobody asked for this, but I want to do it because I saw someone else do it. I want to give a shout out to Tyler Murphy for inspiring me to do this video. Basically, he smushed a bunch of Squishmallow characters all into one, and I thought that was really cool, so I wanted to do that. I have with me a little um, master list of Squishmallows because I couldn't find the filter, which really sucked, but we have a master list. I think I'm just gonna, oh, if it'll load, I think I'm just gonna zoom and pick whichever one, you know, blindfolded. There's a lot, so I'll be scrolling for a while. How about we just jump right into it. Let's pick our first Squishmallow. I'm going to cover my eyes. Let me go to the top of the list. Okay, here we go. Uh, did it work? Did it work yet? Did it work yet? How about now? Did it work? Oh, it worked! <laughs> oh, no. Wait, can I go back? Hold on. I regret it. <laughs> okay, so we have Cat. You know, typically this wouldn't be a Squishmallow that I would go for, but sure. I'm just gonna save that. Okay, so we have to pick two more Squishmallows, so let's go ahead back to the top and scrolling down, see which one I get. I don't really know. I think that's good. Go ahead. Did I do it? <laughs> this is really hard. I can't tell. I wish there was like a generator, but I literally couldn't find a generator. Oh, okay. So we have Pilar. Oh, so cute. I love Pilar. Go ahead and save that. Okay, last squish. Let's go to the top again. And then after this last pick, we're gonna go ahead and draw the little Squishmallow. Okay, here we go. Am I doing it? Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> hold on. Oh, that's cute. Best of bird. All right. So I have my three little Squishmallows here. So so here's what I'm thinking. I should put them in order first is what I'm thinking. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. That's much better. So I really like Kat's colors. I like the blue and purple. I love that combination a lot. I really like the little flappy things that grasshoppers have. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> Insect wings. And I like the little antennas too and little blushy. Very cute. And of course, I think I have to go with the rainbow. Let's combine that. For those of you who don't know, I am an artist. I do draw <laughs> in my free time when I want. Oh, should I give the cat? Cat ears too. <gasps> I think so. Yes. I think drawing is very fun. I think it's very therapeutic. It's good for the soul. Okay, yeah, my problem is I have to make things equal now. Is that good? Yeah, good enough. Little antenna baby. I mean, it's kind of in the way right now. You're gonna have to hide pillar wherever you are. There you go. <laughs> it's so cute already. I just love squishmallows. They make me so happy. I remember in the past, I asked you guys if you wanted squishmallow content. You guys said yes. This is why I'm doing it. It just makes sense. You know, I like drawing. I like squishmallows. Mend well together. Designs always start from a drawing, so. Yum. Can't tell if that's equal. If you're not real, then how come I feel this way? Little babies. That's all I can think of right now. <laughs> okay, I think I'm good to add some color in now. Let's go ahead and do that. Wow, look at that. So pretty. Blue's more in the middle, but ah, <laughs> squishmallows are not alike anyways. And then we'll just make the ears purple since that's what the little guy looks like anyways. Can't forget it's about pink. There we go. So cute. <laughs> All right, now for the rainbows. Oh god, okay. I kind of want these little antenna things, like just the poofy part, to be like fluffy like that. Especially like the little grasshopper wings. And the belly. And the belly too. So we're gonna have to go ahead and kind of fix it up a little. Don't mind me. I will just be an hour or two. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Maybe. I actually don't know. Don't hold me to it. I'm a slow drawer. Okay, we're back. Um, uh, She's looking very bougie. Damn, girl. Looking good. Okay, rainbow time. We're just gonna do gradient. Let's go ahead and select the areas that we want colored in and then just casually glide the colors in there. Okay, maybe not all. Okay, hold on. Maybe one patch at a time just so we could include all the colors. Okay, but why is that kind of cute though? <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna try to blend it in a little. Okay, is that better? I feel like it is. I'm gonna add Pillar's little blushies to his cheekies. That's a must. I love me a little good blush. Oh, she's so stinky. Cute. I think for the piece de resistance, I will add the leopard print. Now this is gonna either make or break the design, but you know what? I gotta, I gotta hone in that cat. <laughs> can I cheat a little? Can I just add a leopard print over top? I don't want to draw it. I sure can. Less work for me. Why work harder when you can work smarter? Am I right? All right, there we go. Looking busy. <laughs> There's a lot happening. I don't know if it's looking good. Well, I have the design on it. I'm just gonna add some finishing touches and I will see you when it's done. And here's our final result. Everyone, I would like for you to meet. Give me a second here, I gotta write it down. Doot. Yes, I called her Doot because I wanted to call her Dot, but she's not necessarily a Dot, so she's just a Doot. She's so cute though. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and pick our three other Squishmallows to make our second mixed up Squishmallow guy. Bringing back Wiki, scrolling to the top, 
closing my eyes, scrolling, 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 scrolling. Stop. Did I do it? Okay, I gotta like squint. Oh, fun. Okay. Man, what's up with all these rainbows? <laughs> no, I like me a good rainbow, just not on a plush. I gotta be honest. But no, it's okay. It's okay, Faza. Yeah, you're good. Let's just copy and paste. I'm gonna scroll from here actually, because I'm scared I I'm gonna keep getting like letters from just on top. It's a big list, okay. Okay, scrolling, scrolling, still scrolling. And uh, stop. Okay, picking, picking, more like squinting. Nee, 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 nee. Okay. Well, we're making a horse character, it seems, so. Yippee! <sighs> I. <sighs> Okay, can I just get a, a, a normal one? <gasps> oh, no way, Sheldon. He's so cute. Okay, Sheldon, get ready to be turned into a unicorn. Okay, so what do I want from these pink little characters? Seahorse, <gasps> seahorse. Oh my God, it's all connected. Seahorse, horse, horse. Haunts. <laughs> wow, okay, so I'm just gonna combine everything. Underwater seahorse. So this little gal, I want their wings. I want their horn. I want the hearts too, that's pretty cute. And I want the underwater aesthetic. So it is gonna be a seahorse. So this little mouth guy, gotta go. It's like squarish, okay. This is a fun little interesting character. I know we started off a little rough, but I'm kind of excited. Okay, that seems to be good, but I do need to like bring it in just like that. Good enough, bring it up, duplicate. Size down, insert, molding. I'm gonna make the line in here a little thinner. <laughs> it just looks like a giant mouth going, ah, ah. <laughs> Or maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna draw the little, I don't know. What is that called? Little fins, I guess? Little fin. I don't, I can't tell what shape it is exactly. You know what? I'm just gonna, there we go. Good enough. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah, okay, pretty good. He's looking like a clown. <laughs> and then we need the little fin on the top. I don't know how that's formed. So we're just gonna, no, 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 no. Okay, well first let's do the horn because the horn's gonna cover the little thing. So little egg, so cute. We'll just hide these little guys for now. I need to see what I'm doing. Is this centered? I can't tell. Um, centered at all. You know what? Good enough. Okay, there we go. Just get rid of these lines. Now for the wings. Ugh, I do not like drawing wings. It's not gonna be good. Oh, wow, that worked out better than I thought. Okay. <laughs> wow, okay. There you go. The wings are done. What else did I say that I was gonna add? The hearts, right, the hearts. They're kind of overlapping each other. Kind of like that. Let's just go ahead and erase the lines. There we go. I think I'm gonna make them thinner actually. And then we gotta add a little belly, little belly boy. Here is my final little base. I will add more if I need to later. Of course, I gave it the gradient again. It's kind of like in your face. It has to be done. We'll add these little colors in the little hearts. Keep a white belly. Maybe add in some of these bluish colors into the wings. That seems like fun. Okay, let's get to it. I couldn't pick the colors properly, so we're doing it the hard way. We're blending. I don't wanna blend anymore. More. This is too hard. <laughs> All right, good enough. We're gonna go with this pink for the wing. I'm trying to match like these kind of pinks, this one and this one right here. Not very matchy, I will be honest, but it goes with the character. This pink, that pink, and this pink. Very pink character. The belly can be white and the horn, it seems like it's white. I'm going to add some pink stripes in the tummy just like this. And then some white speckles all in the pattern. And then I think it's done, but then I do need to take a look at it again and see if I do need to add anything else. Okay, this is what I have so far. Um, yeah, I think I'll just edit it and then I'll see you when it's done. <laughs> Here's the finished result. Yeah, it's something. What should we call it? We'll call him, we'll call him Ponk. <laughs> he looks like a Ponk. Wow. All right, so we have Do and we have Ponk. Let's move on to our last little character. Back to our little generator here. How about we start from the bottom? On your marks, get set, go. Oh, <gasps> cute. There's our first little guy. Oh, he only comes in 12 inch? Oof. Okay. Kind of wanted him, but not anymore. All right, starting from here, we're gonna scroll up again. Beep boop bop. Stop picking this one. Oh, so cute. Olden. 16 inch. Jeez, that's bigger than the last one. Okay. I don't want that one either, but I'm looking for five inches. Okay. I want five inches. Eight inches. That's the biggest, but five inches. That's where I want to collect. Scaling. Now for our last squishmallow. I'm gonna start again from here. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I regret my decision. Well, to think this one was gonna be a good one, we gotta add more rainbow. <laughs> it 
It's fine. I like rainbow. I do. I promise. But just not on my plushie. Okay, so here are our candidates for today. Here's what I'm thinking. I love the black on the dog. I definitely want that on the base. For sure, for sure. I love the little colorful tentacles. For sure, for sure adding that. And for this guy, I'm just gonna add the bare nose. <laughs> Am I copping out? Yes. But do I want to ruin this little design? No, this looks like a cool combination. Why did I have to pick this one? Ugh. Anyways, let's get to it. There we go. Little belly. And then we gotta add the tentacles. How many tentacles are there? One, two, three, five, six. There might be like two in the back. I actually have to zhuzh everything up here. Gotta make room for the tentacles. Very cute. Very cute. Nice. Now for the bear mouth. I refuse to put the freaking rainbow color, okay? That's where I'm putting my foot down this time. No more. My tablet is dying, so I'm gonna have to switch to my mouse in the meantime. Kind of sucks, but I'm kind of used to it at this point. Did you know that I used to draw on mouse when I first started? That's right. Why was I crazy? I don't know. For those of you starting on mouse, I, I gotta give my hats off to you. <laughs> it's hard, okay? It's not easy. I feel like any transition to any sort of drawing though is hard. I remember when I first started transitioning off of my uh, like little iPad with my finger, I would just draw with my finger to like an actual tablet with a pen and stuff. That was hard. It's very like hard to eye and hand coordinate things, but now that I'm used to it, it's like, it's kind of like whatever. But to those of you who are starting like that and who find it really hard, trust me, I've been there. It's okay. You will get used to it. Just keep at it. Don't give up. I believe in you. Is anyone an artiste down in the comments? Let me know. I would love to know. Scooting down the image again, I need to draw the dog ears because I want to draw the dog ears. They're kind of like little pizza. I'm gonna use it as a reference here. They're very long too. Very long ears. This dog kind of reminds me of a bat for some reason and I love it. I think that's why I fell in love with it when I first saw it. If there was a five inch of this plushie, I would want it. Hands down. There we go. Little ear. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, it has my heart. Okay, so here's the base. Now we just add the colors and then we'll go from there. I don't know if the colors are gonna work well, but I know that the green and black are gonna look like something. <laughs> so fingers crossed that it'll look fine. I'm just gonna grab the bear's white tummy too, just to cop out a little more. <laughs> oh no, I don't like that though. Never mind. Pretend like I didn't say anything. There, I did the white nose. I think I'm gonna do a gradient here, like the little octopus guy, but just with the black instead. Cause it just looks right now like a dog sitting on like little, I don't know, balls. <laughs> okay, how do we feel about this. I did add a bit of yellow gradient just like this guy here. Going back to the bear. Pretend like these black ears was meant for the black ears, okay? <laughs> It's all working together. It's fine. It's staring into your soul. Okay, so I'm gonna touch it up a little and then I'll come back and we'll review it together. Okay, we're back. This is the final result. And honestly, I don't know. I think we got a favorite. Well, my favorite. <laughs> we'll name him. I don't have my drawing tablet, just letting you guys know, but we'll name him Spork. Oh, wow. The writings, it's something. Spork. <laughs> it's like Bork, but just Spork has Sparky with Bork. Anyways, uh, <laughs> yeah, that was the entire video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We have Doot, we have Ponk, and we have Spork. I know nobody asked for this video, but I really wanted to make it. I literally just saw the short of Tyler Murphy doing it today, so I was like, I need to do that. So I'm sorry it was really random, but I just I wanted to draw and I was bored. So but yeah, I hope you guys liked it. Let me know which one was your favorite down in the comments. I would love to know. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, just also let me know. Thank you so much for watching, and if it's your birthday, happy birthday. And if it's not your birthday, happy day. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye.